The key to finding is searching. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's audio, Jim Rohn helps us to understand the power and importance of enlightened self-interest. Enjoy. Enlightened self-interest. It's a fascinating study to study the idea of self-interest. But just make this note, all of us, you know, have self-interest. The key is for it to be enlightened so that everybody wins and no one loses. Our first interest is to survive. What does it take to survive? Our second interest is to succeed. What does it take to succeed? What does it take for me personally to survive and to succeed? Can I legitimately be interested enough in the things that help me both succeed and survive? And here's what I discovered. The answer is yes. It's possible to exercise self-interest, but to do it in such a way that no one loses, everyone benefits. Key phrase, life was not designed to give us what we need. Life was designed to give us what we deserve. We do not reap a harvest in the fall because we need it. We reap a harvest in the fall because we deserve it. Not necessarily from a moral standpoint. Of course, there are some moral laws as well, spiritual and moral laws. But just the basic laws that simply say, if you wish to reap, you must plant. So jot this down. Reaping is reserved for the planters. And the reason they reap is because they deserve it. They're the planters. They deserve to reap. Interesting Bible phrase that says, if if you keep knocking, you'll find open doors. Good phrase to jot down. If you keep knocking, you'll find open doors. Doors of opportunity. Doors of a chance to meet someone. Doors open for association. Doors open to find someone special. Doors open to find a, a unique business colleague. If you keep knocking, the door... The phrase says, doors of opportunity are open to those who continually knock. So we don't find open doors of opportunity because we need them. We find them because we deserve them. Only those who knock deserve to find an open door. But the promise is, if you continually knock, you'll find doors of opportunity. It says, if you search, you will find. So make the note, it's good. Finding is reserved for the searchers because they deserve it. Now, at first they may have needed it, but they now know that just needing it is not sufficient. But if they need it, now they must qualify for it. You got here searching, now you're ready to receive. And for those who search, they will find answers. They will find plans, imagination to stir yourself into action for future benefit. So if you search to find a good idea, you must go looking, go searching. You've got to go to church. You've got to go to class. You've got to go to the seminar. You've got to go to the library. You've got to go to the books if you wish to find. Rarely does a good idea interrupt you. Rarely. But if you will search, you will find. So we get not what we need, but we get what we deserve. It says if you ask, someone has an answer. If you keep asking, the answers belong to you. Because by virtue of asking, you have qualified. Make that note. I want to begin the process of deserving. 
what would that be? What process should I begin engaging in to deserve good health, to deserve a good relationship, to deserve prosperity, to deserve an enterprise, to deserve the opportunity to build a city? What must I do to begin the process of deserving? And step by step, a new life is emerging, learning the process of deserving and not just needing. We teach our children at home, right? Child says, I need $10. So that language doesn't work here. There's plenty of money here, and the vaults are full. But to say I need $10 is not how you open the vault. So the child says what? Wow, how can I get that $10 that I need? So here's what they learn to say. How could I earn $10? Now the vault opens up. Now the money starts to flow. How could I earn $10? What could I do to earn the money? Not to get the money because you need it. But you, maybe you need the money. That's, all of us have needs. But here the key is to figure out how to open the vault, how to open the bank, how to open this unbelievable flow of resources to come our way. And here's the key to deserve it. Not to be. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.